So, welcome students. In the video, we animal cloning. Steps, advantage, disadvantage, and ethical issues. So, animal cloning. Cloning is the process of producing genetically identical individuals of an organism, either naturally or artificially. So, genetically identical individuals and among the Uruvakro natural or artificial in the process of the cloning period. In nature, many organisms produce clones through asexual reproduction. So, this we know many organisms produce their offsprings through asexual reproduction that we know. Cloning in biotechnology refers to the process of creating copies of an organism or copies of the cell or copies of the DNA fragment that is molecular cloning. So I repeat the process of creating copies of the organism is called cloning or copies of the cells or copies of the DNA fragment. Dolly was the first mammal clone developed by Ian Wilmot and Campbell in 1997. Dolly the transgenic clone was developed by the nuclear transfer technique and the phenomenon of totic potential. So I repeat the nuclear transfer technique. So this phenomenon is totic potential. Totic potential refers to the potential of a cell to develop different cells or different tissues or different organs. And finally, in whole organism. So, totipotency means uh, the potential of a cell to develop a whole organism. Okay, it is totipotency. So, in the image, we have to simple understand. Panikla. So, one sheep is an adult cell with nucleus order. Then, sheep 2 is an Egg cell at the ground. Egg cell at the nucleus are So we call it as E nucleation of the cell. Then a very egg cell motor. The egg cell fused with the other cell with nucleus. Okay. Then we have to culture it in the oviduct tissue. Then we have to implant the six day old embryo in the surrogate mother so moon of the where or type of mother and made the grow and the body la in the six day old embryo on the insert point on park room then the uh, dolly was formed so now we will see an animated video on making dolly Dolly, probably the most famous sheep on the planet, was the first mammal that was cloned from an adult somatic cell. But what is cloning and how is it possible that this sheep did not originate from the combination of sperm and egg cell? Before explaining the creation of Dolly, make sure to follow me on Twitter at Henrik's Lab and subscribe to this channel. Clones? Sounds familiar, doesn't it? Clones share the same genetic information. Two organisms are considered as clones when they are genetically identical. Asexual reproduction is one way in nature to create genetically identical organisms. Bacteria create a duplicate of their genome and divide by binary fission. The opposite of asexual reproduction is sexual reproduction where the father donates sperm and the mother the egg cell. Each parent provides one copy of genetic information. Dolly did not have those biological parents. This special sheep has been brought into this life by artificial cloning. In 1996 Dolly was born as the first mammal ever cloned from a somatic cell. Instead of having father and mother, Dolly had multiple mothers, each of them with one important function in the cloning process. Sheep 1, a Scottish blackface, was the egg cell donor. 
the nucleus was removed so that only the egg cell without any DNA remained. From sheep 2, a different species of sheep, they took a somatic cell and isolated the nucleus which is containing all genetic information that will later be the blueprint that determines the development of Dolly the sheep. The nucleus was transferred into the oocyte. The result of nuclear transfer is a hybrid cell. An electric stimulus was used to trigger cells to divide, developing into the blastocyst stage. Now sheep 3, again a Scottish blackface, was used as a surrogate mother. The blastocyst was implanted into sheep 3 and some months later Dolly was born into this world. Dolly did not have the phenotype of the surrogate mother. Instead it had the exact same genetic information as of sheep 2. Remember, this sheep donated the nucleus containing the DNA. By the way, Dolly lived almost 7 years and even gave birth to progeny. So steps in clo cloning part one. Number one, the mammary gland of the other cell, that is somatic cell from a donor sheep, that is from Eve, were isolated and subjected to starvation for five days. So mammary gland and the other cell are the isolate panni. Five days ka the nutrition nam starvation for five days. The other cells could not undergo normal growth cycle enter a dormant stage and become totty potential. So nutrients could cause it does not undergo normal growth cycle then entered in a dormant stage that is inactive stage and become totty potential. Then third stage if an ovum or egg cell was taken from another sheep and its nucleus was removed to form a enucleated ovum. So, if you have a sheep, you can collect the egg cells. If you have a egg cell, you can remove the nucleus. That's why we have an enucleated ovum. Then, the dormant mammary gland cell, that is the adder cell, and the enucleated ovum were fused. So, we have to fuse the two. The outer membrane of the mammary cell was ruptured allowing the ovum to envelop the nucleus. So mammary cell like outer membrane on the rupture panni, ovum cell on the nucleus envelopment on the allow pandal. The fused cell was implanted into another eve which served as a surrogate mother. So third over sheep at the ground Adala on the fused cell on the implant pandra usually pandra surrogate mother la. Then uh, five months later Dolly was born. So happy birthday Dolly. Dolly was the first animal to be cloned from a differentiated somatic cell taken from an adult animal without the process of fertilization. Fertilization in Hadakama somatic cells somatic cells learn the Uruana or organism down the Dolly of So advantage and disadvantage of Cloning animals pati paakla. Number one, advantage paakla offers benefits for clinical trials and medical research. So clinical trials and medical research la mande idhon the help panna jabrin suli paakla. It can help the help in the production of proteins and drugs in the field of medicine. So proteins are produced panna rakhu, drugs are produced panna rakhu, medical field dilla romba helpful arikan paakla. Then it aids stem cell research. It helps in the stem cell research of in Pakram. Animal cloning could help to save endangered species. So endangered species are on the Nama on the save Pandraki and the animal cloning on the helpful air clown. This will be disadvantage of Dinan and Pakram. So animal activists and human activists see it as a threat to biodiversity, saying that this alter evolution. Uh, which will have an impact on populations and the ecosystem. So, animal and human activists are not so bad. So, cloning organism create biodiversity or a threat. That's why we have evolution and alteration. 
so it will make an impact on population and the ecosystem so the process is tedious and very expensive so it can cause animal to suffer so tedious abinna in the process romba kadinamana or process then very expensive romba costly in paakrom it can cause animal to suffer edukaga animals vandu nama suffer suffer panna vendiya irukku appo solli paakrom uh report shows that animals or goats were manifesting adverse outcomes and cloned animals were affected with disease and have high mortality rate so sala report base panni paakrappo the animal cloning mama namu vandu uruvaakrappo vandu animals cloning mama uruvaakrappo and the surrogate mothers vandu nareya vandu sala prachanaiyala sandhikiraanga nu paakrom adhu mattum illama cloned animals ku vandu seekrama nareya disease mulama baadhika padudhu appo paakrom அது மட்டும் இல்லாம வந்து இறப்பு விகிதமும் ரொம்ப அதிகமா இருக்கு ஹை மார்டாலிட்டி ரேட்டா இருக்கு இட் மைட் காம்ப்ரமைஸ் ஹியூமன் ஹெல்த் த்ரூ கன்சம்ஷன் ஆஃப் க்ளோன்ட் அனிமல் மீட் ஸோ க்ளோன்ட் அனிமல்ஸ் வந்து நம்ம வந்து மீட்டா எடுத்துக்கணும்னா நம்ம உடல்நிலைய வந்து நம்ம வந்து காம்ப்ரமைஸ் பண்ணணும் அப்படின்னு சொல்லி பார்க்கணும் க்ளோன்ட் அனிமல்ஸ் ஏஜ் ஃபாஸ்டர் தேன் த நார்மல் அனிமல்ஸ் அண்ட் ஆர் லெஸ் ஹெல்தி தேன் த பேரண்ட் ஆர்கானிசம் ஹேஸ் டிஸ்கவர்ட் இன் டோல் So, cloned animals are normal animals and are very fast to age. Even in the dolly, the sheep are very fast to grow. Cloned animals are very fast to grow. Then, cloned animals are very fast to grow. Then, cloned animals are very fast to grow. Then, cloning can lead to occurrence of genetic disorders in animals. So, cloning animals are very fast to grow. Then, cloned animals are very fast to grow. Then, cloned animals are very fast to grow. then more than 90% of the cloning attempts fails to produce viable offspring cloning one more of the animals one the viable offspring can produce panna mudiyala appo solli paaku and what is gene knockout abin paak a gene knockout is a genetically engineered organisms that carries one or more genes in its chromosome that have been made inoperative now the genetically engineered organism oda body la one or more genes in operative are in sina that is called gene knockout abin namu so ethical issues paakra biotechnology has given to has given to the society cheap drugs better fruits uh, fruits and vegetables pest resistant crops indigenous cure to disease and lot of controversy ஸோ பயோடெக்னாலஜி வந்து நம்ம சொசைட்டிக்கு என்னெல்லாம் கொடுத்துருக்குன்னா சீப் ட்ரக்ஸ் கொடுத்துருக்கு தென் பெட்டர் ஃப்ரூட்ஸ் அண்ட் வெஜிடபிள்ஸ் கொடுத்துருக்கு தென் பெஸ்ட் ரெசிஸ்டன்ட் க்ராப் நம்ம வந்து உருவாக்கியிருக்கிறோம் தென் இண்டிஜினியஸ் கியூர் டு டிசீஸ் ஸோ நிறையா டிசீஸை கியூர் பண்ணுறதுக்கு நமக்கு வந்து சப்போர்ட்டிவாக இருக்கு அது மட்டும் இல்லாமல் இட் இட் ஹேஸ் கிவன் அ லாட் ஆஃப் கான்ட்ரவர்சி ஆல்சோ Uh, second point pakla this is mainly because the major part of the modern biotechnology deals with the genetic manipulation so so major part of the modern biotechnology deals with the genetic manipulation so gene level la nama manipulation pandradanaladha ivula benefit kedachalo namakku nariya controversy irukku abingaradha solranga people fear that the genetic manipulations may lead to unknown consequences nama gene level la vandu changes uruvaagrappo அன்னோன் கான்சிக்வன்சஸ் நிறையா வந்து உயிரினங்களுக்கு ஏற்படலாம் அப்படின்ட்டு பீப்புள்ஸ் காட் ஃபியர் த மேஜர் அப்ரிஹென்ஷன் ஆஃப் ரீகம்பன் டிஎன்ஏ டெக்னாலஜி இஸ் தட் யூனிக் மைக்ரோ ஆர்கானிசம்ஸ் எய்தர் இன் அட்வர்டென்ட்லி ஆர் டெலிபரேட்லி ஃபார் த பர்பஸ் ஆஃப் வார் மே பி டெவலப்டு தட் குட் காஸ் எபிடமிக்ஸ் ஆர் என்விரான்மெண்டல் கேட்டாஸ்ட்ராஃபிஸ் அது ஆர்டிஎன்ஏ டெக்னாலஜி மூலமா நம்ம மைக்ரோப்ஸை வந்து ஹேண்டில் பண்றதுனால இன்அட்வர்டென்ட்லி தெரியாமலோ அல்லது கவனக்குறைவாகவோ ஆர் டெலிபரேட்லி வேணும்னே கூட மைக்ரோப் மூலமா போர் உருவாக்குறது பர்பஸ் ஆஃப் வார் மே பி டெவலப்டு இந்த ஆர்டிஎன்ஏ டெக்னாலஜி தவறா பயன்படுத்தலாம் ஸோ அப்படி எதுவும் உருவாக்குனா இட் கேன் காஸ் எபிடமிக்ஸ் ஆர் என்விரான்மெண்டல் கேட்டாஸ்ட்ராஃபிஸ் ஸோ ஒரு பெரிய அழிவையும் சூழலியல் பெயர் அழிவையும் உருவாக்கும் அப்படின்னு சொல்லி பார்க்கும் Although many are concerned about the possible risk of genetic engineering, the risk are in fact slight and the potential benefits are substantial. So, possible risk is not going to be seen. If you look at this, there are many different kinds of genetic engineering. So, our DNA technology or cloning methods are used to be used to be 
நியூ வெரைட்டிஸ் உருவாக்குறப்போ நமக்கு நிறைய இடர்கள் இருந்தாலும் பயன்கள் ரொம்ப அதிகமா இருக்கு அப்படின்னு சொல்லி பாக்கலாம் இடர்கள் வந்து முறையில குறைவா இருந்தாலும் பயன்கள் அதிகமா இருக்குன்னு சொல்லி பாக்கலாம் தேங்க்யூ